Well, Deborah, the spike has the county executive considering requiring face coverings everywhere, including outdoors. And he's also thinking about imposing tougher limits on gatherings. The spike in Baltimore County coronavirus cases is alarming to residents who say they've been taking safety precautions seriously. Until everybody does what they're supposed to do and follows the rules that I think that we're going to be stuck in this you know, process where we keep going in circles. It gets better, then it gets worse. It gets better, it gets worse. This corona is killing us. And if it's, if, if, if it's up, then we must shut it down. The Baltimore County Health Department reports coronavirus cases have increased by 90% since October 23rd. The positivity rate shot up by 70% over the same time period. Our numbers are alarming. We're, we're sounding the alarm bell today, and we're saying if residents don't step up and if there's not statewide action, we'll be left with no choice but to consider taking those steps. And we think the next step would be gathering restrictions in Baltimore County. Well, if it needs to be, it needs to be. I mean, we want to be safe, and I'm doing all I can, and uh, if he wants to impose, that's fine with me. The county executive is committing $11.5 million in CARES Act money to school principals to help them prepare for reopening. The money can be used for PPE, air purifiers, and cleaning supplies. Baltimore County is also making $7 million in state funding available to restaurants. Those who have already received $15,000 in grants will be eligible for another $15,000. New applicants will get up to $30,000 in grant money. I love it and I really appreciate it. The county's social distancing task force has done 5,200 inspections. Some of them were proactive, others were complaint-based. Reporting live from Towson, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.